Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video or hit the thumbs down if you don't. It will really help me out to get this video to more viewers like you. Also, if you enjoy the contents of this channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. With that said, let's get started. Orbital has 110 HP and we're going to focus on its Evo Mency attack starting at one colorless energy. For each energy attached to this Orbital, you can search your deck for stage 2 Pokemon except for another Orbital and put them straight to your bench without having to go through its basic and stage 1 pre-evolution. So this is going to be the main engine for this build. We'll only be playing 5 basic Pokemon, 3 Blip Bug and 2 Chimecho. Orbeetle is a stage 2 Pokemon and it's the only one we have to worry about setting up in the very beginning of the game. And to ensure that we always start with Orbeetle, I limited the basic Pokemon being used. That's why I added 3 level balls to this deck and I also have 2 quick balls for added measure. But Chimecho is a pretty important Pokemon for early setup as well. We'll be using its Auspicious Tone attack which lets you search your deck for any one Pokemon and any one supporter card. So when choosing a Pokemon, you have to get the evolution line for Orbeetle and Green's Exploration because you can search your deck for up to two trainer cards. So with Green's Exploration, you can search your deck for your rare candy or your Pokemon communication to completely evolve your Orbeetle next turn. But keep in mind, you can only use Green's Exploration if you don't have any Pokemon with abilities in play. And that's why I've also retained two Skylas so we can continue to search for trainer cards throughout the game. And once you set up Orbeetle, it's just a matter of getting a triple acceleration energy. That way you can bench at least three stage two Pokemon right away. Also, I've included one copy of Pierce just to get us a triple acceleration energy. And once Chimecho has done its job, you can also use Koopapnet to free up some space in your bench. Now with Orbeetle's Evo Mency, you can only search for stage two Pokemon from your deck. So if they happen to be in your hand, you can use Pokemon communication to send them back to the deck and two Marnies to shuffle stage two Pokemon from our hand to the deck as well. And I also have two Ordinary Rod to get our Pokemon or energy back from the discard pile. And this will be my base build for Orbeetle. So for our new stage two that will pair with Orbeetle is the synergy between Decidueye, Rillaboom, and Colossal. Starting with Decidueye, very well known for its deep forest camo ability, which prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon V or Pokemon GX. So for most of our games, it will be an instant win, especially if your opponent only uses V, VMAX, or GX Pokemon, and they don't have anything to counter this ability. And it only has one attack, Splitting Arrow, for one grass and one colorless, it will do a base damage of 90, and you also deal 20 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And with the help of Telescopic Sight, you can increase damage to your opponent's bench V or GX Pokemon by 30. Once you've gotten Decidueye to your bench, the next step is to energize it as soon as possible. That's why we'll also be using Rillaboom with the Voltage Speed ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to 2 Grass Energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. So this will really help to energize Decidueye really fast so you can start attacking as early as your next turn. However, the only obstacle is that Decidueye's attack is a little underwhelming. So if your opponent does have a counter to Decidueye, it's sometimes hard to retaliate back because of our low damage output and Decidueye will eventually get knocked out. So for backup, I've added Colossal, more for its coal cannon attack. Starting with one colorless energy, you can flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon and deal 90 damage times the number of heads. And we can easily energize this with the help of Rillaboom's Voltage Speed ability. And you can also use the Triple Acceleration to potentially increase its damage output, depending on the number of heads you flip. I've also added one Reset Stamp to this build and one Stealthy Hood to prevent abilities from affecting our Decidueyes. And as for energy, I also have Aromatic Energy so we can prevent special conditions. Weakness Guard energy in case we encounter fire type matchups and 8 grass energy which I was actually thinking of increasing but it works out well for now. And that's pretty much it. The deck list will be in the description below but enough talk let's see some gameplay. Alright so our opponent is choosing who goes first. All right, he's gonna go first. Okay. So we got our blip bug and chime cho all set to go. Come on. Put Chime Cho in the active. Uh, we don't have anything, any trainer cards to go along with this, so uh, we will need to find that using Chime Cho. Okay, so we're up against a fighting deck. 
uh, using Hound Doom line uh, single strike Urshifu V and V Max. Uh, we do have Dustnar. <laughs> Here comes another Dustnar win, but you know, with Decidueye, we can actually uh, become a wall. Uh, with this uh, with this matchup too, so I'm just gonna get another Blick Bug just in case, and use Auspicious Tone, and I will let's see. We already have Orbeetle. I could still use Green's Exploration so we can get a Pierce, but for now I think let me just get another Chime Cho and a Green's Exploration. So the greatest threat with my build is that once you get the things you need with Chime Cho is that they are your opponent uses Marnie and then it just messes up your whole hand and if you don't get anything from that Marnie uh, you have to start from the very beginning so that's the only thing um, and if you don't set up your blip bug uh, they will just sometimes if they have a lot of boss disorders uh, they're gonna get you and you're gonna have a hard time setting up so um, always hope for the best you know uh, you won't always win all games because you just won't get the things you need but uh, with this matchup uh, we, we we do stand a fighting chance using Decidueye um, single strike Urshifu V Max actually has that attack for 270 and it's gonna disregard any conditions so uh, even though this joy has that ability uh, it's not gonna go get affected the attack's not gonna get affected so with um, green's exploration we're just gonna get our candy here to evolve into orbital and we might just have to pass another turn here use auspicious tone because uh, we want that element of surprise from our opponent um, so I'm just gonna get a blip bug here and another greens exploration so they they might already know what we're up we're up to but um, they actually no they don't because they don't know which stage two Pokemon we're gonna be using even though they know what Orbital does so uh, I want to be able to use uh, peers and get that triple acceleration so we can get as many Pokemon as we can on our bench so if they do end up knocking out um, Chime Cho then we'll have bench base uh, unfortunately our opponent's gonna warning us and you know we won't be able to use that Pierce hopefully we get a triple acceleration here <laughs> okay that works for me definitely works for me <laughs> so, so once they knock out our Chime Cho can attach that triple acceleration orbital get four Pokemon on our bench straight away and start dealing damage and be, be, be a wall so even with that uh, even with that resistance they were able to knock it out well yeah it only has 70 HP um, so here we go put triple acceleration evil Mency and Dustnar man Dustnar has to be here two deciduous I think and one Rillaboom. Nice. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. Fill that bench with all these stage twos that just gonna run over this, uh, run over our opponent. So um, they're only using uh, V V Max Pokemon right now. I, I don't see any way that they can counterattack us. Uh, they can use that. <laughs> I think that's it. They won't be uh, able to attack. Uh, they can attack for a hundred, but Orbeetle is resistant, so we can just escape. They won't get any prize card for it uh, because that basically turned their single strike energy into colorless. So now, now Urshifu V Max can't even use. Uh, it's second attack to hit for 270 uh, even against our Decidueye so again that attack is immune to nice 
So with the resistance, they only hit for 70. Um, we can scoop it up, but but we don't have to. I'll just retreat, I think. Get rid of that. Decidueye. I can... Uh, hmm. I can energize the one on the bench here. Voltage beat. Two energies on Decidueye in the active. We have to energy. We might have to retrieve that uh, later. So I'm just gonna attack here. Attack these two on the bench. So it has 130 HP. So it's gonna take a, a bit of time before we knock it out. But at least we're working our way through uh, this Urshifu V Max. And it's not gonna be able to to damage us and even if they knock it out using that second attack and again uh, it's not affected by any conditions on their opponent so again that ability of the CGI won't be able to uh, resist that um, damage if, but they'll have to discard all of their energies so they need one more fighting energy to use that second attack and we already have a backup Decidueye we still have 220 HP to go and uh, our ore beetle is still alive so we can um, we can just get another Decidueye from our deck okay they're gonna target dust noir but it's resistant <laughs> so <laughs> this is a this is a good matchup for us let's just put it that way um, I'll put this one energy oh you know what I should have just put two so I'll just scoop it up unfortunately use or beetle uh, use Skyla and I'm just gonna get a Pokemon communication and then we're gonna put it back in the deck and whoops oh no 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 um, chime show yeah because we need that in the deck so we can use evil Mancy to put it back into our bench. Okay, so we'll use Evil Mancy, put that back in the bench, and that will still disable their special energies from being used. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Not a bad combo. <laughs> so now they're still disabled. They can't. They can knock out our Orbital, but that's fine. But then uh, the CGI can go back into the active and start uh, doing its thing. So it's gonna be a wall. And just gonna keep attacking chip damage until somebody gets knocked out or until our opponent concedes. So they will get one prize card for us uh, for that, and that will that will be four prize cards left for our opponent. And I'm just gonna use voltage speed. We only have one grass left, and I'll just put Chime Cho in the bench. Splitting arrow. And I'm gonna start targeting um, Tyranitar. Okay, it seems like our opponent is trying to uh, put some energy on Hound Doom so they can attack with it. But even with that attack, I don't think uh, they're not gonna be able to knock out our Decidueye that easily. So we have the upper hand. We have the upper hand. We're, we're gonna be good. We're good. Nope. No effect. No thank you. And we're just gonna keep attacking. Splitting arrow. We pretty much have this game. It's just a matter of time. Even if they knock out those that they can KO in the bench. Um, actually, they can still win if they KO everything. But they'll have to have a lot of bosses orders put it that way all right so our opponent scoops finally good game all right on to our next match Geo Drago 84 okay uh, we will mulligan we don't have anything in our hand I actually started 
this deck, I used uh, Decidueye and Obstagoon in the same deck. Uh, it worked. It does work. But... I don't know. This one is a little bit more consistent, I think. You're just focusing on one Decidueye. Then you got Rillaboom and everything. Um, but yeah, Obstagoon definitely will work. If you pair it with uh, Decidueye. Will work. Mm -hmm. So we're up against the Licky Licky matchup. So this one's going to be a different match because uh, Decidueye's ability will not have any effect on our opponent because they are using stage 1 Pokemon. Uh, and they're using Cherim with it. Actually, that's a very good idea. Very, very creative idea. So they can energize uh, Licky Licky right away with all those grass energies. So here we are with the uh, Chime Cho. Unfortunately, we don't have any energies on our hand to work with. So I might, I will have to stall here. I think I'll have to use Quick Ball. Just get rid of this switch. And I'll get another Blip Bug. And I'll just give it to my opponent for now. So Licky Licky, um, this one discards a card, discards an energy from your active, discards a random card from your hand, and discard the top card of your deck. So it's very disruptive, it's a very disruptive card. Um, very disruptive card. So we might we might have a hard time dealing with this, especially if it removes energy from Decidueye. It's gonna we're gonna have a hard time re-energizing Decidueye to attack. So Licky Tongue is all energized. They just have to evolve it. Heavy draw, okay. So at least we get another turn off of that one. Okay, we got an ore beetle from our top deck. We just need to evolve, but then we only have one energy. Hmm. We might just have to make do. Uh, we can use Skyla to get a rare candy. But I think I'll just put an energy on Chimecho. And I'm just gonna Marnie. You know, let's see. Let's see what we get off of this one. Okay, we got a green exploration. Okay, that's good. Uh, but now we can't get Blipbug out of the active, so I think I'll just pass. I could have put Chimcho in the active, but if if in this turn they're able to evolve into Liki Liki, like what they're doing now. Time show we just got knocked out. Although that wouldn't have been a problem actually. Ooh, they have a Lugia. The one that attacks for 250. Yeah, you know what? That would be a good deck to build actually. Cherim is actually a good pair to all of those um colorless Pokemon. Interesting build. Very interesting. So we just gotta watch out our hand, make sure it doesn't go beyond 5 cards. Cause Lugia will attack for 250. But <laughs> Licky Licky is removing it from our hand, so what does it matter, right? So I, I'm just gonna go ahead and put Chimcho in the active. Uh, I'm gonna use Green's Exploration get a uh, rare candy and we already have a Pokecom and I'm gonna get Pierce so that we can get our triple acceleration and I'm just gonna use Pokemon communication um, put this back 
Yeah, so we have two Rillabooms. Get a Ore Beetle. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve it now. Because Licky Licky won't be able to knock us out anyway. So even if they put it on the active, we should be fine. And I'm just gonna use Auspicious Tone again. Uh, get another Chime Cho. And... Let's see. I'm probably just gonna get another Greens Exploration. Not that we need it, but... Um... All we really need to use in our next turn is Pierce to get a triple acceleration uh, energy and then get three Pokemon on our bench right away. So I hope with their their attack they don't um, discard our Pierce. That's the one we really need. So hope for the best. Slicks go away. No. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Alright, we got a telescopic sight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Pierce, get a triple acceleration energy, put it on Decidueye, or Orbital, sorry. Get a Decidueye. Um, I could get Colossal actually. Yeah, so I'll go with Decidueye, Rillaboom, and then Colossal because Licky Licky is weak against fighting so we sh as long as we get one head on our coin flips we should be able to knock it out with one hit and Rillaboom we need to energize our Pokemon uh, because with Decidueye alone um, Licky Licky has 100 plus HP so with just Decidueye, he it won't be able to knock it out with one hit. So at least with Rillabo, uh, with Colossal, we have a fighting chance against it. 130 damage for one energy. What is this? Ultra Beast, Big Cut. So if they have four energy remaining, it does that much damage. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Interesting build. So let's voltage beat. We still have six energies. We should be able to knock this this guy out. We can start putting damage on these, but we won't be able to anyways because of Mew. We get another energy. That energy is gonna go a long way because it's gonna help us to energize Colossal. And Ordinary Rod, I hope they that doesn't get discarded because we need to get those energies back. Yeah, this is a really nice. Our, our opponent's build is really good. It's um, it's not over the top, but very creative. There's a lot of Pokemon in there that synergizes pretty well. Interesting. Alright, so they put their Licky Licky in the active. It's not gonna knock out our Decidueye, but we can still energize it. Okay, let's go away. Alright, wow. Well. They were able to remove one ordinary rod from our top deck, which is not good, but we'll make do. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Skyla to get a switch, and I'm gonna start attacking. I'm gonna use Voltage Beat to get. I'll get two energies on it, uh, and then I'm gonna use ordinary rod to get. No, uh, I'll get another Blip Bug and Orbeetle just in case and get these two energies back to our deck and cool cannon beautiful that's all we need is one <laughs> it's still overkill 360 damage okay so they're putting charm in the active it has an air balloon you can just retreat back with it uh, unfortunately for them they're their Lugia uh, is, is useless because we don't have 
more than five cards in our hand. So it's just the sitting, sitting pretty in our opponent's deck. Or our opponent's bench. Okay, green new revelation. And they're just gonna pass. Okay, we can knock out, we can try knocking out this Jirachi. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna call cannon. Alright, that's good enough. 270. We get a price card. And a reset stamp. Yeah, I just uh, I paused there for a second because I gotta make sure that after we get our price card, we don't have six cards. Because if we do, then Lugia will just knock out uh, our Colossal. So you, you gotta you gotta think ahead like that. Because if we don't. Uh, we will just lose So now we have six cards. We got to get rid of one. So I'm just gonna Marnie here Okay, we got five cards in our hand And I think I'm just gonna use quick ball to get rid of this thin out our hand Get a blip bug. That's fine Now we'll put that on the bench and just attack cool cannon we just need one. Okay, good. Knock out this Mew. Yeah, so Colossal is actually such a good uh, Pokemon to be uh, with this Decidueye and Rillaboom. It's been working out really, really well. Although you do still rely on chance depending on your coin flips, but when you're successful, it really does work. It really does. Because uh, where Decidueye lacks the power, Colossal like fills that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep re-energizing and I'm gonna use Cold Cannon. There it is. 360 damage. And we just need one. We just need it you know <laughs> Colossal makes this look so easy. Uh, along with Decidueye, just you know, it's just relaxing for a little bit here. So Decidueye becomes a wall to you know Vmax, GX, and then for the little ones or the ones that are one prizers, Colossal will just take care of them. So I really like how this worked out. I'm just gonna use the Voltage Beat, and I'm gonna scoop it up. And all we need is one more price card anyways. Heads, heads, oh my gosh. Three, four, five, six, set oh my <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> we got all heads. Wow. Alright, we get to choose who goes first here. Uh, I like to go first. Uh, we got blip bug. And we got we have a quick ball. We could probably get a chime cho. Ooh, all right. It's like a mirror match, but not really. So I'm going to use this quick ball, get up another blip bug, and I'm just going to pass. So let's see. Let's see who wins this match. Uh, they can use Bird Keeper, knock out our blip bug in the bench. But once we evolve into Orbital, Decidueye should not be able to knock out knock out our orbital in one hit so we should be fine and with another energy we can get two two stage twos on our bench uh, within two turns unfortunately we don't have any other options to get a triple acceleration but this will be a nice uh, showcase as to who which build is better? Orbital or the regular regular Decidueye build? I'm gonna go ahead and use Green's Exploration. It's good we got this one. Uh, and then I'm gonna get Pierce. And I'm just gonna go ahead and evolve the active. Because again, they won't be able to knock it out. And I can put 
no. Because we only have four spaces in our bench. And it'll be a waste if I attach it to Orbital. All we need is Pierce to get our triple acceleration. And just fill up the bench. So what I'm going to do is surprise our opponent. Um, they don't know what they're up against. So uh, keeping that surprise element makes... You know what? I just thought of that, you know? If you play an Orbital deck, it's always like a surprise to your opponent. They'll never know what they're going to be facing off against until after you put them on your bench. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to use Pierce. Get the triple acceleration. Now we can get four Pokemon on our bench. Let's see. Well, we got the other Rillaboom in our hand. So I'm just going to use... I'm just going to get three Decidueye and one Rillaboom. That should be enough. Uh, and that's what's nice about Decidueye because it only requires two energies. So what we could do is uh, Voltage Beat 1. Uh, so two energies on one and then put one energy from our hand to another Decidueye. So we can basically fully energize all of our Decidueyes in two turns. Okay. So we've used that much up already within uh, those few turns that we, we've played so far. And our opponent is just building up their uh, their bench. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below, guys. Which do you prefer? The, the good old Decidueye, uh, normal Decidueye uh, way of getting or setting up Decidueye or... Uh, or beetle so let's go ahead and voltage speed two energies we can knock out one rowlet do 20 damage to the bench and we are rolling here guys i'm actually pretty proud of this one you know decidueye is good it's already a good card you know it's been winning a lot of tournaments um i don't i don't know if this particular build will make it to like tier one or I and I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that this is a very consistent deck because it really depends on what you get also and what your opponent gets on their hand because if they have like multiple bosses order or something like that and then they just don't let you set up then you know what you'll lose the game so uh, it really depends. There's a lot of factors that you kind of consider um, with what makes a deck really consistent and good. But nonetheless, this Orbeetle, is, uh, it's been working out for some of my matches. So it's I, I, I like the way the, that this one is, um, is set up. So I like this one. So our opponent finally gets to set up one Decidueye, uh, or two, and now they're starting to attack. Uh, we don't have a Mew, and I'm just going to get a switch here, because our Decidueye will get knocked out in the next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out, and energize that, get these last two energies to our other Decidueye, and just going to keep attacking. So now this one will get knocked out in the next turn. Uh, unless they put it in the bench. But the other Decidueye now has 40 damage on it. So it's just a matter of time. If they attack the our active, it's going to survive. We can just switch out. Or just, you know what, keep attacking. We'll knock out. We'll knock out one of them, and then the more chip damage on their bench, we can uh, one hit KO, or we can knock out with a regular attack once they put in the active. All right, so they're gonna bosses order this one. Um, 
We don't need the hood because our opponent's not using any abilities. So I think I'm just gonna attack. Knock this one out. And none of their bench Pokemon have any energy. So yeah, this is not looking good for our opponent. And that's the thing with Rillaboom. I, I really like the inclusion of Rillaboom in this in this particular build. Okay, our opponent scoop. So, uh, good game. Good game. Okay, so we won the coin flip, and I'm gonna go first. Okay, we're we're gonna have to mulligan. Our opponent will see colossal, but. Will they know that it's Decidueye? You know, it might seem like a hassle to set up Orbeetle in the very beginning. Just so you can get uh, a bunch of stage 2s on the bench. But in the long run, it really depends on how fast also you energize your stage 2s. I think that's the best uh, use of Orbeetle. If there's a way for you to energize your stage 2s really quickly... It's worth it because it really uh, you avoid basically all of the hassle of finding the basic, evolving it, things like that, and you have to find the evolution for your basic Pokemon. But with Orbeetle, you skip all of that. All you have to do is worry about Orbeetle, evolving Orbeetle, and then get everything else on the bench that quick. So I think that's the that's the that's the best thing about Or Beetle. So we're up against the metal deck and we are using Corvanite. Corvanite V Max. So we are okay with this. Maybe not. So if they're using the Cheryl, I mean <laughs> most likely most likely they are. Um hold on, let me just use Queen's Exploration. Uh, we already have Orbeetle, so I'm just gonna get a rare candy and pierce. So all we need to do is evolve in the next turn and then use uh, triple acceleration so that we can get three Pokemon on our bench right away. So if our opponent uses Bronzong to move energies and then heal with Cheryl, uh, we will have a hard time knocking out this Corviknight VMAX. However, with the Sijuai, we are also protected from any damage, so we we should be fine. We should be fine, but it will it might take some time because Corviknight V Max is uh, pretty tanky. Just uh, let's just put it that way. There's the Bronze Song. It's all set up. And the only the other thing is that these metal type Pokemon are resistant to grass. So um, Colossal might have a chance to attack in this matchup, actually. So we're gonna utilize um, Colossal. So with Pierce, we get the triple acceleration. We'll switch into Ore Beetle, Evil Mency. Uh, we don't need Dustnar, I think, in this matchup. I think I'll get these three. Okay. Yeah, because if they knock out our Orbeetle, at least we don't have to worry about getting a Colossal as well. But uh, Decidueye, at least right now, is a little safe. Because it's not going to get any damage from... Corviknight V or Sashin V. And they don't have any energies just yet to attack us. So we might actually have another turn to get another Decidueye. So that's the plan. That's the plan. We can either get another Decidueye or... You can just retreat and start attacking with Decidueye. Get another Decidueye or start attacking. Yeah, we got our reset stamp from that top deck. I think... 
see I'll put this telescopic sight on this UI. And I think I'm just gonna Marnie. Shuffle their hand and we get we get new cards. Okay, we get those. Uh, let me just voltage beat and put energy on this joy. And I'm just gonna Evo Mancy and just get another. Just gonna get another this joy. Yeah, um, I use voltage beat to energize because if for some reason our opponent like Gus Rillaboom in the active. I mean, we have another Rillaboom in the in the deck, but if they knock it out, then we won't have anything to energy. At least the one Decidueye I will have energy to attack. So now they can fully. Oh, there's the Corviknight V Max. Now they can knock out. They can knock out our Orbital. But then we'll just put Decidueye in the active, and just just be a wall. Be a wall. And then start hitting as hard it, as it can. And with the telescopic side, actually, it will increase damage. 240. Okay. So they're going to get a price card for that. Okay. So I'm going to start energizing Colossal just in case. I'm gonna voltage beat and splitting arrow and I'm just gonna get these two you know what yeah I'll get these two it'll hit for 50 so we're well on our way they could heal back up but at least, at least we're doing we're doing some damage. All right, I'm just gonna switch into Decidui, the other Decidui. Good thing we, <laughs> good thing we set up another one. Otherwise, they'll slowly just. Ooh, okay. They're gonna be attacking with Bronzong. Um. Alright, so Bronzong is going to be attacking for 70, 70 damage. So we will get knocked out in two turns. So we have to get rid of this Bronzong. First, we got to get, get this Decidueye out of the active. And start prepping. Let me... Oh wait, hold on. Let me voltage beat. Unfortunately, I'll have to retreat with this Decidueye. Or I can just attack. Uh, I'll just retreat. Put this energy and I'm gonna coal cannon. Come on, give me heads. Oof. Uh, I just needed two, but that didn't go a long way. So the, the problem is here. Well, you know what? It has a 3 retreat cost, so if they don't have a switch, they're going to hard retreat. They won't have any energy. So I'm not worried about their Corviknight knocking out our Colossal just yet. So we might just have a chance to knock out this Bronzong. They'll attack Colossal, but at least we'll, we'll take care of it. Unless they sacrifice the Bronzong, transfer all that energy. And then just get knocked out while preserving the energy. Because if they don't preserve that energy, that's all going to go in the discard pile. So again, Colossal, man. Um, I think Colossal is such a good addition to this. Okay, so they are moving the energies. Yeah, so they're just going to sacrifice this Bronzong. And they're just gonna Intrepid Sword. Alright. 
So they are giving this Bronzong to us. Let's see. Let's use Ordinary Rod. Should I do both or just get... Hold on. Um, I'll probably just get the energies. I'll just get these two energies back so Rillaboom can get it. I'm going to use Level Ball. Get another Blip Bug just in case. We need to set up another Orbital just in case. And I'm just going to Cold Cannon. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now our potential problem is gone. Now Decidueye can go back to being a wall without any worries in the world. They are setting up another Bronzong in the bench, but we'll worry about it when it's there. But unfortunately, our Colossal will get knocked out this turn. So our opponent might be having a hard time trying to figure out how they can counter Decidueye. But now they were able to knock out Colossal, which is unfortunate. And let's see. Let's use Quick Ball. Get another Blip Bug. Use Pokemon Communication. Uh, get Orbital. Then we can evolve. That way, in case any of our Pokemon gets knocked out, we have backup. So we're just going to keep hitting the active and the bench for 50. 50 each. So Corviknight... Uh, um, I should actually start hitting I should start hitting Bronzor because it's gonna take at least three turns to knock it out before it evolves into Bronzong. But Corviknight V is just ten HP over two hundred, so it it's gonna take about three turns to knock those two in the bench. Three turns. But that will get us four prize cards. Alright, so our opponent doesn't have anything. No boss disorder, nothing. And they're just getting Trapped Sword. Alright, this could be it, guys. This could be it. I'm just going to continue to attack. Splitting. Arrow. And I think I'll just focus on these two. Corviknight Vs. Uh, with Ore Beetle. Uh, we, actually, we need to get Ordinary Rod to get another uh, our Colossal back. And in case they set up a Bronze Zone, we're, we're, we're ready for it. But for right now... Oof, okay. Um, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, so that's the... Okay. Hopefully we get energies here. We can just manually attach it. For now, all we can do is splitting arrow. Just focus on these two. One more, one more move. Uh, it's going to be a few turns, probably two more turns before this Corviknight VMAX gives out. So we're, we're on the right track, it's just taking a bit of time.
So our opponent needs three more prizes to go. Uh, but between between the two decidui, uh, they can only knock out two that can get them prizes. So Orbeetle and Chimecho. We can get a scoop up net and get it out of the the bench. Oh, they're gonna Cheryl. What? Oh no! That discarded all their energy. They have Metal Saucer. And Corviknight VMAX can freely retreat. Yeah, so Cheryl only... Escape Rope. That's fine. We'll put this in the front. We have Switch anyways. Uh, so Cheryl only fully energizes all um, all of your Pokemon that is evolved. And I don't think you get a choice which one actually. So if all of your Pokemon has damage counters on it and you decide to de um, you decide to heal with Cheryl, all of those evolved Pokemon will heal and then remove all of their energy. So you got to be careful with that. So they still can't attack us with this Zashin because you, you just can't. So <laughs> uh, at least we get four prizes from dealing bench damage. We took out two Corviknight Vs with one attack. Nice. So it went from five prizes to one prize not bad guys huh not bad oof um well we can use twin energy we got five energies in the oh, we need we need ordinary rod to get them all back well not we'll get two of them back So our opponent's hope lies in getting another Bronzong and start hacking away at our Decidueyes. Or, well, uh, again, even if they knock those out, they're only going to get one prize. Chimecho, they'll get one prize. If we don't put any more Pokemon in the bench, we should be fine. But I'm only worried about Bronzong. Once they, if they set that up, then it's gonna be a lot harder for us to deal with. I'm just gonna use Ordinary Rod, get Colossal back, and Rillaboom, and get two energies back to our deck. And I'm just gonna continue to attack. Two more turns and then that Bronzor should get knocked out. He has 40 more HP left. So hopefully they don't evolve into Bronzong. Then we're, we're home free from there. What's this? What's this? Stoutland. Get two another prize card. You know that's not a half bad. And I like that full art, man. That's really colorful. But that's not a bad idea actually. If Bronzong can move energy around and then your opponent has like this tiny bit of HP to it, and then Stoutland finishes it off, you get two prizes without doing anything. Interesting idea. All right, we're gonna get Martine. Metal goggles. Our opponent still has 18 cards in their deck. We have 26. 
They're just gonna intrepid sword all that energy. I don't know why they're doing that, but all right. We're just gonna keep hitting. Just gonna target the scroll bat. One more, one more, one more attack. We should we should be home free. Should be home free. Metal saucer, okay. Hmm, okay. Are they gonna evolve it? Oh, they have uh, Pokemon Breeders nurturing. Huh. 70 HP. 70. Minus 3. So we won't be able to knock it out with Decidueye. Oh, wait. No, we we win <laughs> with the telescopic sight. We do 50 damage. Well done. <laughs> we'll do 50 damage on Zashin. That will win us the game. Oh, man. That was a long game. <laughs> Good game. All right, let's go first. So we're up against the Senthis Corch V Max deck. Um, see, with Senthis Corch. Uh, if they are using Volcanion, if they're using Volcanion, we might have a problem because, um, yeah, there's the Volcanion. We could have a problem with this matchup because Decidueye is weak against Volcanion. Pokecom, get another blip bug. Get a blip bug. And I'll Pokecom again. Get a second blip bug. You know what? Let me get a Chime Chill. Put an energy. And I'll just pass. Yeah, so Decidueye is weak against fire. Unless we can get Weakness Guard on it. Um, we won't be able to survive an attack from Volcanion. Okay, Flare Starter. We can start attacking with... With the Falcon. Falcon Pokemon. So now they can start attacking with this Volcanion, actually. Uh, so I'm just going to use Suspicious Tone. Okay, we can get... We can use the Pokecom to get Orbital. Um, and we have Triple Acceleration, so you probably don't need Pierce. So I think I'll just get, no, I'll get Green's Exploration. Because we can use, we can use Skyla later. Green's Exploration we can't use once we start playing a Pokemon that has ability on it. And that gets us another trainer card if we want to anyways. So Green's Exploration always your first choice. And that Volcanion will knock out our Time Cho. We have Blip Bug. We will have to use this Blip Bug here, and I'll just put Chime Cho just in case. And I'll put Big Charm on the active. Uh, use Quick Ball to get another Blip Bug. I will not put that in the bench because I need to use Pokecom to get an Orbital. And then use 
Green's exploration to get rare candy and a switch. I'll just evolve into Orbital, put triple acceleration, and get three Pokemon. Yeah, we'll get Colossal as well included there. That will be able to deal with Volcanion. See the thing with Decidueye, it's not it's not only weak against fire, it also only deals 90 damage, which is which is not good enough to knock out this Volcanion. So we we really are it's a terrible matchup between Decidueye and Volcanion. Let's just put it that way. Volcanion versus Decidueye, Volca Volcanion will always win. And they have enough energy. Because uh, Volcanion to deal 110 damage, you need 4 energies in play. 4 fire energies. And they, they, they meet that criteria, so... Uh, even this Orbital... Oh, okay, they hard retreat. Okay... So, actually with the Orbital, even though it has 110 HP, the Big Charm will keep it alive. I never thought I'd see the day that that Big Charm actually <laughs> will be useful, but there are, there are instances where it, it becomes useful, for sure. But against this Talonflame, it's just not gonna get, it's not gonna survive. Uh, okay. I thought a really boom was done for. That would have been actually a good move if our opponent had done that. So I'll just switch out Colossal Voltage Beat, two energies on it. If we get triple acceleration here, we can even. There's a potential to knock it out. Unfortunately, we don't get it. So we will have to get all three. Coin flips as heads to knock this one out. Two will only hit it for 180. One, two. Okay. 150, because it's resistant. Huh. Because it's a flying type. Okay. All right, all right. So Decidueye can knock it out, but then Volcanion will just knock out our Decidueye. So this is not, this is really not looking good. There's the sense to Scorch V. At least we'll be immune to Sense Scorch V Max attack. So all, all I'm really worried about is that Volcanion. That Volcanion. There's the welder. So, their other Pokemon should not be able to get through our Decidueye. It's just this Volcanion. This Volcanion is the one that's in the way. It's not gonna knock out Colossal, but if they do switch out to any of their other Pokemon to knock it out, then... Okay, we have a chance. We just need to knock out this Volcanion. But we'll need two heads. We'll need two heads to knock it out. 
Can we get two heads off of three? Um, a voltage beat one more. <laughs> you think it's enough? Here we go. Coal cannon. One. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. 180 damage. Nice. So now we we should be free. We're free from the torment. Of fear from Volcanion. They can knock out our Colossal, but now we can just put Decidueye in the active and go from there. Uh, if they remove this Jirachi, put. They can GX attack and knock out this Colossal. Or they can Pokecom and get a Santa Scorch V Max and just knock out our Colossal. Okay, there it is. Sent to Scorch V Max Shiny. Oh, they have a switch. They have everything in their hand. Oof, for 200. Okay, so we're gonna put the Sidjoy in the active. Voltage beat. We just need one energy. And I'm just gonna start attacking. Wait, hold on. Let's use Ordinary Rod. Do both. We'll get Colossal back. Two energies back. And we're just gonna Splitting Arrow. Uh, target these two. We get to knock out... Oh wait, no. Not yet. Uh, one more. One more bench damage. I wish we had the telescopic sight. We would have had one prize or two prizes from the talent flame. Okay, they're gonna hard retreat to Jirachi. Interesting move. Pokemon communication. Welder. And then you draw three cards. Welder is a broken card. Broken card. You energize two energies. Then you get to draw three cards. No! <laughs> Another Volcanian. Well, they used up their bosses or uh, no, their welder already, so they won't be able to knock out our Decidui just yet. Uh, I'm thinking of just using Orbital to get ourselves another uh, Colossal on our bench, so we can deal with that Volcanian. Quick ball. Okay. Um, hmm. Voltage beat. Or beetle. We still have two energies in the deck. We can knock out this Jirachi with Decidueye, sacrifice Orbeetle to get another Decidueye, and Colossal. So I think I'm just gonna Splitting Arrow, knock out Talonflame, and damage Volcanion. That'll get us three prizes. Okay. And if they have a fire energy here, our Decidui gets knocked out. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure they have one. <laughs> uh, Volcanion. Oh my gosh, 220 damage. So, Orbital goes into the active. Uh, Evil Man, see, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's reset stamp them. Maybe that will disrupt their hand. Evil Man, see. For. Oh, dude, where's the Decidui? Oh, man, they're all in our hand. Ugh. So I'll have to rely on Colossal for now. Oh, man, that's not good. Okay, they're gonna reset stamp. Let's see. <sighs> well, they can just retreat Volcanion and then knock out Orbital with Senta Scorch or Heatran GX. And then we can use Pierce. We only need two prizes actually. So 230. You think we can do enough damage? We just need three heads to knock out that Scent Scorch. We have Pierce. We can use Triple Acceleration. And then put two, um, two Grass Energies on Colossal and just win this game. So here we go, Colossal, Pierce for Triple Acceleration, what do you think? Can we get 3 heads out of 5? Put that there, Voltage Speed 2. Alright, this is it. If we don't get this, that's it. Here we go. <laughs> if we don't get this, guys, we lose the game. Cole Cannon. No. No. Yes. No! <laughs> oh my goodness. That was so close. Anyways, you know what guys? Uh, with Colossal in this deck, you see, you can see how powerful this HUI deck has become. Uh, fire decks can easily beat our Decidui with the help of Volcanion, but uh, between Colossal and Decidui, we did really put up a good fight. We did put up a good fight. So, you, you gotta give it to my deck. You gotta give it to this deck. You know, Colossal did an awesome job. Props to Colossal for, for backing up our Decidui, for sure. Uh, we'll just we'll just finish this. You know what? I'll put. Uh, I just put. Maybe we can. No, we can't attack. That's Marnie. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Is there a clutch moment here where we can win? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my goodness! All right. Uh, voltage beat maybe. No, we don't have any more energies. So, yeah, that's it. GG, star opponent, man. That was a close game. Close game. Well played. That was really close. Really close. So I'm just going to concede here. Good game. Good game to our opponent. Orbeetle has done it again, allowing us to bench stage 2 Pokemon with ease. And the synergy between Decidueye, Rillaboom, and Colossal is really amazing. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to share this content. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.